Hello guys, Nepal Times here, welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna show you how you can schedule a message to send automatically on WhatsApp. Okay, so as we know there's plenty of messaging apps, uh, some of them are wonderful, but for some reason most of the population defaults to using WhatsApp. And one of those apps uh, is Telegram and it has a pretty neat function that is that you can schedule a message to send wherever you want. That however is not supported by default on WhatsApp. However, on iPhone we do have a workaround to do that thanks to shortcuts. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so as you will see this is a very simple process but there's a couple steps we need to do. So first of all, we of course have to start in the shortcuts app. Once we're there, we need to create a new shortcut that will send a WhatsApp message. So to do that we click plus and then say add action. Here we search for WhatsApp. However, yeah, you will see that in my, if I just tap WH, you will get it. Um, but here we actually see a few options. Um, I saw that the one that works best is just selecting one of these recommended contacts you see. Because if I say send message, for some reason it doesn't give me the option to type the message that I want to send. So you will need to select one of those um, people that you get and you can change it later, so don't worry. But yeah, I will send this for example, which is a group. And you can see here, so if I type here, I can just erase this recipient and search for whomever else. So for example, so you select the person. However, do make sure that you select the phone number. So if you have a contact with phone number, email, etc., make sure you select the phone number that's associated to WhatsApp, of course. And then here in message, of course, we can type whatever. So yeah, uh, then we can click done. And uh, then we need to go to the bottom tab of automation. Here in automation is where, where, where we will actually create the automation for the message to be sent. So we click plus, select time of day, and however, it needs to be set with repetition. So this is not a method that you can use to just, uh, for example, uh, wish happy birthday to someone, uh, but you have to do it repeatedly. So for example, if there's some task at work or yeah, there's something at work maybe that you need to do once a week or even once a day or once a month. Yeah, you can select the repetition time here. I will set it to monthly because I only want to send this once. So what I will do is delete the automation after it's sent. So if I put it monthly, I have one month to remember to delete the automation basically. But yeah, I put it monthly at uh, whatever, yeah, this time, whatever time it is, I don't care. And we need to say run immediately. Otherwise, if you say run after confirmation, it will ask you if you want to send it, which kind of deletes the whole purpose of doing it. And notify when run will just send you a notification that the message was sent. So you can turn it on or off depending on what you want. But yeah, we say next. And here we have to link the shortcut that we did. So you will see it here because it's the most recent. We just tap it and that's it. So now we have the automation that monthly on the 18th, at this time, we will run the shortcut. As I said, we can change the frequency of the thing. And if you only want to do it once, you need to remember to delete it once you have done it. But yeah, that was everything I wanted to show you today. Now let's go ahead and finish the video. Okay, so as you saw, this is very simple. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a process. Uh, so it's probably not something that you want to do for a lot of messages a lot of times. But yeah, if you have one message that you send repeatedly or something, this can be a very good thing to automate it. Also, yeah, you can also do it if there's that birthday that you cannot forget. Yeah, you can do that, schedule for one month and then delete it before the end of the month. Bonus tip, you can also set a reminder to remind yourself to delete the shortcut. But yeah, this has been everything that I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Also, if you like this video, please thumbs up because that really helps. And if you like Apple content in general and you want to see more content like this to get the most of your, of your iPhone, then you should subscribe. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.